Now I'm going to try cutting aluminium for the first time. I'm going to make a sprocket to my go-kart I'm building that you can see on my channel uh, in a playlist name, Lil Borker. So, and the settings I'm using now is the same I used for steel, but uh, instead of 0.25 millimeters cutting depth, depth I'm uh, doubling that to 0.5 millimeters. Otherwise, all the uh, all the parameters are the same. So, let's try. This is a very simple and exact way to measure the center, center of something circular. This was uh, with a traditional strategy for adaptive clearing. You use about 10% 10, 10 of the tool's diameter in step over, and uh, you use as much as possible in step down. And uh, this is the best result I got with that strategy. That is a very high RPM. In this case 24,000 RPMs on a 5mm high speed steel uh, 3 flute end mill and the feed was 650 millimeters per minute and I always use Infusion 360 or in Gibbs cam I always use uh, feed optimization I think it's called feed optim optimization and that means that it's uh, adjust the feed to the radius so you tight the radius the slower the feed and ah oh, this is the best result I got I may think I can get a better result result uh, vibrationly said if I use a very very low step down and a very high step over like I used in steel but the problem with that is that you only use the absolute tip of the end mill so the end mill doesn't doesn't last so long and you use this strategy with a small step over but a high step down you use more of the whole cutting length of the flutes so i think it's much better in that perspective and uh, i could try and uh, make some stab stabilization for the tower of my mill but that is going to happen a little later but uh, now all the roughing is... No, it's one roughing left and that's the pockets. And that's we're gonna try now. So 
starting to look like something. Now we done first the two adaptive clearing of the uh, from the top down to where the sprocket begins and from the sprocket to the bottom. Then I made some uh, boring spiral ramping in this and uh, drilled holes in the bottom of them uh, that I'm going to drill through later but uh, I made the uh, shallow drills drilling just to guide the drill bit later and then I used uh, pocket and rough cut the pockets and there I ramped with a two, two degree angle and that was too much I changed it later to one degree and the rough cut stepped down it was one millimeter and that was too also too much I changed it to 0 0.5 I got very bad vibrations and then I made the f fine cuts finishing cuts on, on this surface and this surface so the only thing left now is to change the end mill to uh, I think it is a four millimeter end mill with one millimeter radius uh, to do some uh, finishing in the pocket and get some radius in there. So that's what's left now. It's finished. Uh, I made the last finish pas finishing passes with my new uh, end mill uh, hard metal four millimeter with one millimeter radius uh, bull nose, and it's uh, with a special coating for aluminum, and it worked so good. I don't know if you see the surface, but it's super perfect with uh, no stick whatsoever I didn't use any uh, coolant or fluid and nothing and it cut so good now I'm gonna take it loose and uh, clean it up a little in the late and then we see it finished in a little while Time for a new try. I'm gonna uh, make another one, and this time I'm making it a little more of a simple design. But this time I take in the shuck, shuck, shuck. I don't know how you pronounce it really. From the fourth axis and mounted that to the table, and I indexed it and saved this as a. Uh, offset uh, G55 so I can always have this one here at G55 and uh, I don't have to uh, probe it every time I use it only in the C so and this time I'm only gonna use the 4 millimeter 1 millimeter radius end mill in uh, carbide with uh, uh, special aluminium flutes and coating because I got some insane good results with it when I did the f finishing cuts on the first test so now I'm gonna use this bad boy for the whole lot and uh, let's find out how that goes
this result was the absolute best of them all. I uh, used a classic uh, adaptive strategy with uh, step down was uh, five millimeter on the first section and six millimeters in the second. And uh, the step over was 10% of the diameter of the end mill, which was uh, 0.4 millimeters. And uh, it's absolutely amazing how good it worked. Um, the only thing was that this aluminum was very sticky and uh, I don't know really how to call it in English, but uh, the uh, what is called um, uh, the ships was very is very long, long ships, so they they doesn't break easy and they stick around the end mill. It becomes very sticky and then sticks to the end mill between the flutes. So the solution was to spray a little oil every now and then. Not so much, but a little bit here and there. Then it worked perfect. So now I'm gonna take him out and marvel at this beauty. Finally. And the shock worked perfect. Here we go. Super, super beautiful. Very good results. Amazing, I would say. <laughs>